Hey everyone, doing a real quick video on the dead end DJ Prime 4 and the Prime Go. Somebody in one of the groups said they wish you could hook up an Ethernet cable between the two for Ableton Link. Well, guess what? I don't know what you're thinking because it works. I don't know why it didn't work for you if you tried it, but currently right now, you can see, uh, let me just show you here. You see the little wife. There's no Wi-Fi on this guy here, right? And I have the link right there. And if I move my, I'm moving up here and you are seeing the link information is happening down there. So I don't know what's not working for you. This isn't hooked up over a network. It's plugged in Ethernet straight into the back of the Prime 4. No fancy trickery. I've done this before with an MPC-1. Um, I've done it with the, uh, the Akai Force over here. So Akai stuff links over Ethernet. And the dead end stuff obviously all works together. So you could do a Prime Go to another Prime Go to an SC6000, to a Prime 4, it doesn't matter. And if you wanna have them all together and you had no Wi-Fi, you would just have an ethernet switch and that would work because I've done that as well too. So yeah, it works perfectly fine. The only thing you do need to know about this stuff is whatever track you're starting first, you may have to like, before you start playing it, you know, get it to lock because it starts off at 120 for some reason. I don't really know why. And grab it, move it back, reset, and then you're good to go. Um, if I just load up something down here, I don't have any sound hooked up to this. But I hit my sync button and now I have control over this one here. You see? Now I got that. And now you can see we're there. I'm now controlling that and I'm not using the pitch fader there. So yeah, it works. So the guy who said it wouldn't, it doesn't. Well, this was the video to make you eat your words.